Well, we belong to the Association of United Ukrainian yeah. Canadians. We now belong to the AUUC Seniors. Okay. Um, other than that, uh, what can I say? Yeah. Um, we, we, now we belong to several different seniors groups, but at that time, uh, well, I belong to the union. I belong to QP when I when I first started working. But um, when I became an administrative secretary, I had to drop out of the union yeah. because of the uh, I was exempt, and I tried to. Uh, I asked my boss if I could remain in the union, and he said no because there's a conflict of interest here, mm -hmm. and he wouldn't let me remain in the union. So of course I had to get out of the union. Yeah. And because I always felt that I had protection with the union, if I was ever fired or whatever grievance I had, I knew I had to, somewhere to go. But in administration, I didn't have anywhere to go, yeah. so I had to be a good girl. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people, a lot of people dropped out, but there were still a lot of people yeah. hung in there all that time, and a few people dropped out, of course, because they were afraid. Cold War scare, afraid. put a scare afraid. on them, and frightened. in some cases, people had good reason to drop yeah, out because sure. of where they were working or whatever, so you couldn't, uh, you couldn't blame them. Yeah. Did you find that the political debate in the hall uh, was quite fractious, that it fractured the membership quite a bit? It did in some, yeah. Yeah. In some ways, yes. The trouble is there was a, only a few people that were the, the strong believers, yeah. and they're the ones that fractured, yeah. you know, Everybody wasn't agreeing with them, though they, a lot of people went to the hall even if they didn't agree with, yeah. with what some of these other ones were. They liked the cultural activities. Yeah, they still go to cultural activities and, and didn't want anything to do with the other part of it, yeah, and yeah. they didn't. I see, yeah, yeah. So what do you think is going to happen to the AUC in the halls? What uh, what's your perspective on the future for that? Well, I you know I said years ago it wasn't going to last, but here we are, still uh -huh. here. Uh, so I, I really don't know. I uh, you know I don't know whether the political end of it is going to s survive because there's so few people that are politically yeah. inclined. The rest are just strictly culture and yeah. have fun and go have your lunch and that's it. That's all they care about. But Cultural and social And social acti uh, like activities. Like in Calgary, the AUUC is strictly a social club now. And there's, but there's still an interest in preserving the Ukrainian culture. Oh yes, oh, there yes. is. That, that there that is. is. But as far as politics are concerned, yeah. uh, in, in Calgary they don't take much part in politics at all. Yeah. 